one, Clovis Invitational, that girls championship race was a screamer. In the rematch from Woodbridge, Buchanan prevailed this time out, 57 to 65. Both teams were humming out there. Brian Weaver, the head coach for Buchanan High School, your thoughts first off on the performance of the girls team? Uh, you know, it, it, it was exceptional for what they did. You know, it's been a very, very rough week here in the valley with uh, air quality has been horrible without really getting out and being able to train. And to step on the line today with great clean air, it was just really exciting. And I'm very proud of what the girls did today. For a few weeks now, for several weeks now, the teams in this area have had to battle that smoke and affected training and so forth. What's been your message to the team during that type of challenge? You know, it's just being smart in how we handle everything. Um, communication was key about how they're feeling with, with the air and, um, you know, you, you get headaches, you get sore throats. Um, you know, that was key that they're making sure that they had to communicate with us to let us know that we, we had to pull them back if they were really starting to feel the effects of the air. If you can share either from your last team meeting or from today's pre-race, what was your last message to the girls team regarding today's challenge? Um, just be consistent. Um, you know, just keep moving the last mile was really big. We talked about that a little bit yesterday. Um, you know, and so just, you know, we are where we are and just keep, you know, keep fighting. Just don't run in the race. Make sure you're racing the entire time. So we have Buchanan winning the state championship in 2019. Obviously, we all saw in 2020. Uh, to have that as part of the experience, and then to have a situation where you have some new girls added in, you have a new challenger, how helpful, how great is it to have that kind of a push from another team as well? I, I, I think that anytime you get competition, you know, it, it helps everyone no matter what. Everything rises, the, you know, the better the competition, you always rise up in, in all sporting, in all competition. So, uh, you know, the girls are, you know, wanting to continue what they started in 2019. Um, we talked about the appreciation of um, every every time we get the chance to compete that it is something special. We know that feeling of having things taken away. And we, so we, we know what the bad feeling is. So no matter how we feel out there, that it's it's a better day than that feeling. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, Brian, collectively the team did so, so well. Individually, did anybody really capture your eye or really step up today? Um, I, I, you know, I was proud of really all of them. You know, um, Kaylee Elliott has really stepped up in her leadership and it showed today in her performance. Um, Stefania. Um, and then the freshman girls, Sierra and Elle, I mean, were, were exceptional. Uh, I, and, I, I mean, every, every, all of them. Carolyn doing what she did, bouncing back from an injury, and then, um, you know, Grace and Sydney up there leading. But I, if I had to pick one, I, I don't know if I can do that right now. They, they all did their job like they're supposed to. Ken High School, 2019 champions, won a 2020 badly. Really positioned for 2021. Should be great back here in a few weeks at Water Park in Fresno. The Rich Gonzalez Prep Cal Track. Brian Weaver, thanks so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it.